now is the tedious journey of finding out where our shocks need to be on the rear. We're going to notch this uh, 45 degree bend and basically we got to pack the shocks in on both sides on one place. I got to set in it. The guy weighs like 30 pounds less than me so I'm going to make it a little soft for my weight. Just a little bit. And uh, so it'll be just right for his weight hopefully. And then uh, we just got to keep packing the shocks in, me setting in it, moving them. It sucks. Hey, our merch is on Christmas sale right now. Oh, we're out of hats actually. Yeah, shirts. we're out of shirts. And we just added our fourth annual Christmas card today. We got to talk about it. We got the heater on like it's freaking winter time. Now I touched that bit. Freaking scald knot. Huh. Huh. Your wife's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> When the camera's off, you're like, hey, Greg, how did she tell you? <laughs> Have you been talking to her? Look at those old school lamps we got from Randy. Trade in. Beck was like, oh. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Base. It's just propylacholine, <laughs> chin crawl, uh, Deltron 62, right, red number it. six. <laughs> <laughs> it's all natural. You can pick red number six off a tree and just use it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're ready to mount these shocks. I have the swing arm. Uh, I drew a line on the swing arm where I want the first shock. I think I'm going to let the reservoirs sit at the back like so. I did not grab my welding hood. Okay, got it now. So I'm going to go halfway down the tubing with these. Alright, I thought I recorded where we end up putting the shocks and I thought the camera was recording when I sat in the buggy But basically where we originally put them they was about two inches further back The shocks was squatting down about 25 maybe 30 percent of its travel when I would sit in it We had to preload the front a lot 
you can see we're still going to preload it a little bit more we're not getting spring the coil binder nothing so they can still be preloaded but that made a huge difference on how soft the front end was so now uh, these are set up in a good spot they squat about 40 percent with me sitting in it and that's not counting the battery the gas tank and uh, more tubing we're going to x out behind the seat right there and we're going to add some stuff in this big opening on the side and we may do a double hoop uh this little hoop behind your head may do a second one i forgot to also mention this twine that we ran from there to the front spindle uh, that's basically to get ackerman angle you can google ackerman angle and it's popped up on screen right now it just basically if you're taking a left hand turn the left tire is going to turn even more than the right hand tire is to pull you around that curve it helps a lot when you have a live axle setup uh, so you know this is a straight uh, live axle so both tires are spinning at all times so it can sometimes push the front end a little bit so Ackerman angle like I said basically turns the inside tire whatever if you're turning right around the turn this tire will turn more than the left hand to dig and cut you around that turn also we added an extra CVT belt holder on his uh, roll cage we're probably gonna add a second one over here just because uh, you never can have too many CVT belts when you're running a high torque 420 uh, he's probably gonna switch to a 780 later but for now we're running a, a 40 series but as you saw we have no bump steer on the front end it's all ready to go we need to basically build the we was going to do a watts link on this setup but uh he doesn't have a ton of travel these shocks again only have two and a half inches of travel so watts link would be overkill for this if he was running like the douche man's running 12 inches of travel and he needs the watts link to keep his rear section centered uh, but this will work perfectly fine with a pan hard bar he don't want to you know we don't want to go too expensive on this build and that's double the heim joints but uh yeah it's looking sweet we got uh to do the steering wheel next and the next video we'll do the steering wheel we'll finish out the frame gotta add some braces and we'll build that pan hard bar mount the gas tank and battery and then hopefully be able to ride this thing also i had to cut uh the front corners of the frame off right there because when at full droop the tie rods was hitting so we put a quarter inch piece of steel over that. We got to weld it on the bottom side and brace it up so that's not a weak, you know, that's not making the frame weak. So yeah, uh, it's turned out pretty sick. Remember guys, the videos are coming out a little bit slower right now because of the fact that we're done our shop. We actually got the whole interior framed up, all the studs in the walls. Now we have to go over and frame up the garage doors. The garage doors is coming the Friday after Christmas. Our breaker box should be installed. And then after the breaker box is installed, I can start wiring everything up, all of our lights. We have all that stuff sitting in our dining room, actually. So uh, there's a lot happening right now behind the scenes. Uh, we are filming everything that's happening with the garage, so be patient. That stuff will be out. And uh, we're trying to get this knocked out. Probably right after Christmas, he'll get this buggy. But he does want it sandblasted and powder coated. So that adds even more time to the build. We gotta ride it, we'll take it out to the track, run a couple laps around it, then we gotta tear it down the bare frame, go get it sandblasted and powder coated. And also the golf cart we tore down months ago. Uh, we haven't been able to line up a time to go to the, pa uh, the sandblaster. And the more stuff we take to them at once, the cheaper it is. So uh, we're gonna take it. So we'll have the 625 golf cart coming out soon. Uh, so stay tuned, 2020, gonna get cray cray. Uh, make sure to check out our Christmas card. They're on sale right now. People seem to like those, so we did it for the fourth year, and uh, you can buy those for $5. That's basically just to cover. We're not really making no money. We're giving a free sticker with it of our choice, uh, and just to get them printed and all that stuff costs about $5, so uh, it's no no way to make money. It's just uh, if you guys want one, throw on your mantle, have my cute face in your living room, then uh, you can go check that out on RBG Carts. And make sure to check out the links in the video's description. You can go to Go Power Sports and get a lot of these parts, especially all the rear end parts on this go-kart, all the wheel hubs, uh, stuff like that. Make sure to check out those links because they do help us to continue to do these videos uh, without your support and supporting us from Go Power Sports. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do this and we wouldn't be able to build this new shop to do some crazy builds, guys. We have crotch rocket engines, four wheelers, dirt bike engines. We have all kinds of stuff coming in 2020. So uh, things about to get crazy. Uh, thank you guys so much for a great year. We love you and God bless.